In this video, we will talk about 5 things you must never do to your golden doodle. As a golden doodle owner, this video will help you know what you should avoid so as to improve your relationship with your pup. If you're thinking about adopting a golden doodle, this list should give you an idea of what to expect. But first, if you would like to keep getting useful tips and guides about your dogs or cats, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel, because we constantly bring you useful info that will help you be a better pet owner. Let's get started. 1. Never leave them alone for too long. Golden Doodles suffer from separation anxiety just as any other dog breed would. This is a chronic canine condition that can affect any pup, and Golden Doodles are no exception. When left alone, they can get very anxious and frantic, even if they are house trained. When you leave them alone to go to work every day, their fears or boredom can lead to dangerous behaviors. Because these dogs chew on anything within reach, you may find furniture vandalism, shattered crockery, or torn shoes waiting for you. Their intellect will also lead them into unusual circumstances, such as figuring out how to steal their favorite delicacies from the refrigerator. 2. Never leave them without grooming. While golden doodles aren't prone to shedding, they still require a lot of maintenance. Brushing your golden doodle on a daily basis to maintain the health and quality of their coat is a good idea, if possible. You'll be able to get rid of any dead hair, debris, or dirt caught in their hair this way. To keep their hair from dragging on the ground, golden doodles will need to be groomed every few months. A bath every six to eight weeks will help them. If you don't take proper care of your golden doodle's coat, it can cause severe skin concerns and even difficulty walking if hair grows too long over the paw pads. Grooming a typical golden doodle may cost more than $100 every session, and that's before you tip the groomer. Choose a pet with a low-maintenance coat if you don't want to spend the money or learn to maintain your dog at home. 3. Never pamper your golden doodle. Golden doodles are intelligent dogs, yet this mixed breed may be obstinate. They are incredibly intelligent, but they may also be independent thinkers who like to do things their own way. When it comes to training, this may be especially difficult. The attribute of stubbornness is more closely linked to their poodle parent. To maximize your chances of owning an attentive and obedient dog, it's a good idea to establish fundamental ground rules from a young age. Pampering them will only make things more difficult, especially when they get used to having things their way. 4. Never leave them without regular health checks. Although hybrid vigor is said to make golden doodles healthier than purebred dogs, this is not always the case. Because the poodle and golden have some of the same health disorders, such as hip dysplasia and the gastric dilatation volvulus complex, often known as bloat, there is a chance they will develop these problems. To avoid this problem, have the potential parents undergo a penhip or OFA exam before breeding. Before committing to any contract or payment, ask the breeder for the results of this exam if you are bringing a golden doodle puppy home. If you don't have access to this information, you should consider the transaction suspicious. It is also important that you take them to the vet for regular checkups. This way, any health issue will be noticed before it's too late to do anything. 5. Never leave them without exercise. Golden Doodles are lively dogs who need a lot of exercise on a regular basis. The Golden Retriever and the Poodle are two canine breeds that have traditionally been employed to recover game during hunts. As a result, they have comparatively high energy levels. To keep these dogs emotionally and physically occupied, you'll need at least 60 minutes of exercise every day. You may take your Golden Doodle to the dog park, go on long treks or take walks in the neighborhood as a Golden Doodle owner. When the Golden's energy builds up, it's typically released in short bursts of frenetic running, which is why the larger size doesn't work well in tiny homes. The bottom line is, it's a good idea to learn more about the Golden Doodle before making a commitment to this wonderful breed. Overall, Golden Doodles typically have a lot of needs and do best with owners who are willing to dedicate time and patience. So, are you a golden doodle owner? What is your doodle like? Please leave a comment below.